Hello and welcome back to the Alpha Stream, the EG Allen Europa Halo 2v2 Spring Series. And hold up a second. Is, is that, that Tommy the Krogan still here? Tommy the Krogan's joining us again for another series. Uh, obviously, the, the fans, Tommy, really wanted you to, to continue casting as well. And off stream, you forced my hand to keep you <laughs> to keep you here as well. So, Tommy, it's great to have you for another series. I'm so excited. It was a surprise to me as well, as much as a surprise to you. But we're still casting again. The, the duo, the Bravo stream duo from last week, back again now here on the main stage as well on Alpha Stream. And Tommy, we're going to go into another winners' quarters finals game here. We're going to be play, uh, seeing Ridden, which is Kronos and Cruz versus Late Bloomers. What can you tell us about these two teams? I mean, uh, Kronos are played last week with Nubi, so he swapped out his teammates for Cruz for whatever reason. Here's to now, and Andy Tones on the other side played last week as well, but they had some uh, rough matches, went out of the tournament early. Uh, right now, some stats from Kronoser on the screen. Obviously, a French player, like we discussed last week. Uh, but KD, it's a bit uh, misleading because they had to play Cartel twice, and they also played some other really good teams. So if you played against Cartel in a 2v2 series, then your KD is going to look like that pretty much. Decent accuracy, uh, decent damage per game. I mean, getting up closer to that 2k is very good in 2v2s. It's, it's not easy to hit 2k damage every game. So, this series, Joe, how do you see this one going? So, Tommy, I think late bloomers placing in last place um, in our last spring series uh, on Sunday last week. Uh, I don't know who they played against. Uh, I'm, I assume it was against like a cartel like Roster and then another one yeah, of our strong teams like coming that. down. Um, we're going to have the same maps going into this one, Mo Plaza, Rig and Truth. And for me, I think that this Ridden squad, the French squad, Kronos and Cruz are going to come out on top. Kronos obviously plays in top three with tier three last week. His teammate, um, his teammate Nubi no longer with, uh, teaming with him. But also, just because we've got, a, we're highlighting a lot of French players on this stream as well. I want to shout out to our Europa uh, Halo Bravo stream, Halo Creation. Big shout out to them. They've got the the lockdown on all the French casting over there on Europa Halo 2 here on Twitch as well. Uh, and yeah, it's really nice to have them aboard with us as well. And it's really nice to see a lot of French representation in these 2v2s. I think they're the, the most populous nationality in our first week. And it might be a bit of a split this week um, with some other nationalities as well. But again, this French squad of Kronos and Cruz, I think they're going to be too powerful for late bloomers. I think it's going to be pretty co hotly contested in these games. But Tommy, we're loaning into rig. It's another winner's quarterfinal to lock in a place in the semis. And we're going to start here now with Cruz to start this game. Yeah, they'll be looking to secure this first camouflage. Uh, Kronoser is staying it, too. Cruz is staying uh, basically bottom mid. Nobody's going for it just yet, both teams are kind of baiting it out. It's shot down now, so Kronoser might be diving for it, but actually he's going down right now to Andy Tonsa. Uh, Cruz trying to find Tony, but the camo is still right there, nobody has grabbed it. Now Cruz has it, but he's maybe gonna get killed as he does here. So that's the first camouflage, grabbed at about 31 seconds. And the blue team has to lead 2-1. to one. Yeah, I like the respect both teams are playing at that start of that game, not sort of over-challenging, over-extending towards that camouflage. And it was burned in the end, so a nice kill from, from his to now. And for that, he's got the sniper as the reward. And it's a 3-2 lead for the side of Late Bloomers as well. So it's early doors, but a nice setup start from his to now and Andy Tonza. That sniper rifle is getting hunted down by both Kronos and Cruz. And he does get cleaned up in the end. So snipers off the map, so it's going to be pure pistols for the next at, uh, minute and a bit here, Tommy. What sort of setup do you want to see these two teams doing now? On the rig, inside control is huge, which is basically the bunker area, tower area, uh, E2 engine area and then white hole if you can control that then the enemies have to push to you from a weaker position uh, right now chronoser is trying to maybe isolate this guy with his teammate but uh here's a nice holding e2 so uh he, he had a good position but he goes down so anditon is in a bad place right now i don't think he can do anything yeah he goes down chronoser may be looking to block this bunker spawn and his teammate is gonna try to maybe uh collapse on the spawners both uh, blue players now spawning outside, so it will be the next camouflage soon that will be the important play here. 
Yep, and as you said, both Kronos and Cruz have the inside control, so they've got the advantage going on towards this camo if they can keep it, and they know where both the blue team players are. Here's to now gets fallen down, only Tons are left alone. He's going to try and back away with Cruz and Kronos hunting him down, trying to get that cleaned up on a kill, and Kronos rightfully so decides to, I'm not going to push the same way as my teammate. I know only Tons got to go back this way, but I think they're focusing on him too much, and here's to now is just left alone on the map trying to help and back up with his teammate. They do regroup together, but they're both weak in this fight. All players are weak. And to be the last player alive, they're going to be Kronos and Cruz in a one versus one. And Cruz takes him down. And Tommy, this should be camo time any second. Yeah, no, 31. It's been a bit late. There it wow. is. Tommy, your time of camo perfectly, as any player would do as well. And just that, Cruz gets camo and sniper rifle and a killing spree all at the same time. Gets a nice double kill onto his to now. So they're heating up the French side here. And Cruz proving why he's teamed with Kronos in this event. Nice start, nice continuation from the side of the Red Sea. Yeah, and a perfect spawn trap. Look at that, both blue players spawning in bunker, so it's in Cruz's hands to make a play. He knows they're both here, he hits the body shot, he hits the headshot. Tony has no chance to help his teammate, he's gonna get collapsed by uh, Chronoser and their fresh 2-0 down. So now Chronoser is trying to block the bunker spawner and Cruz is trying to find the spawners. They're spawning outside again, it's free headshot for him, nice shot from Cruz. Now he's gonna group up with his teammate and uh, pinch Tony. Yeah, nice snipe from Cruz there as well. He is heating up nearly on that killing frenzy as well. And the spawn traps are coming in so perfectly from the side of this French lost roster. Cruz does get cleaned up though, so he didn't get the kill killing frenzy. And now here's now is hunting down um, Kronos and should get the cleanup on this kill as well. Yeah, that's true, confirmed therein. But it's now a 6 to 13 lead. We're still on board with his, so now it's another about a minute until camouflage. So it's pure pistols here on out until that next camo comes up on the map. And he is to now, and his teammate are both holding the inside quite well, but they're both on right corner side. So that tower is still left at three if one of the players in the red team wants to push that way. So here's to now, and only Tons are doing well to back, back each other up as a team. They've been both caught out, and here to now is the first one to fall, and only Tons are now left alone against two players, two red guns facing his way, and he gets cleaned up as well. So nice defense from Kronos and Cruz, and they keep this game, keep the momentum on their side. Yeah, there's still some time left for the next camouflage, so just to know now, Andy Thompson need to leave right now, maybe get closer to each other, but they're actually getting... Uh, just to now just completely got isolated there again, and now Andy Thompson is solo again, so this is just what, what can happen in 2v2, the situation can quickly spiral out of control, I mean... Andy Thomas uh, here's to now that he's getting picked up one by one constantly. Uh, the spawn trap is working really well. Next camouflage, right now Cruz has it, so let's jump on board with Cruz. Yeah, jumping on board with Cruz. 18 to 6 lead for Ridden, the French roster, the red team here. And Cruz knows there's a player. And he turns her up there, just get the back back onto him. Surprise! Hello, I'm here. Predatorial instincts. Cruz takes down Andy Tonza. Looks behind him, gets some shots onto here to now. But here's to now, rightly backing up as well as Cruz. He doesn't want to waste that camo so far. Nice extra shots to keep here to now weak. And his teammate, if you see on the map, Kronos soaring in to get that cleanup onto here to now. Rightly does, but it's traded out by Undy Tons. So two players left alone, but the advantage on the side of Red Team because he has the camo, gets those first few shots. The nice return shots from Undy Tons are backing Cruz up again. They still can't manage to clean him up. Sniper now on the side with Cruz. And he's just waiting for Shields to get back. He knows where the two of the blue players are. He knows that they're inside here. He knows to see that his teammate a bit isolated on this nest side, but he's waiting for the push. He knows that the blue team are going to get... Uh, a bit eager to try and push him. They, they still realise he's probably over on this snipe side there, Tommy. Nice no-scope from Cruz onto Undy Tons. He's hit a, quite a few good ones this game. And he just misses haircut from the side of his to now. And just for that, he's a bit annoyed. He wastes one of those sniper bullets. But he should should keep sniper on the map with him there. Does make Undy Tons a one-shot. But nice headshots from Cruz. Nice life play from him as well. And it just shows how well this French roster's playing, that even when they're pushing the corner, they still manage to stay alive, still manage to hit some of those shots. And here's now, and Tons have to play some perfect Halo to keep themselves in this game, Tommy. Yeah, they can't afford like a single trade at this point. They can't trade a single kill. Well, here's to now, gets a free melee, gets the second one, but Cruz is there to finish the uh, kill, so that's pretty much game over. Uh, Andy Tons in a 1v1 with Cruz. Both players kind of back down. Next camo in about 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, here's to now spawning bunker. Uh, the collapse from the French is gonna happen fast. Andy Tons goes down to cruise. Kronoser knows that uh, here's to now is solo. We need to. They have the camouflage. They just need one kill. They're gonna hunt this player down right now. 
Yep, and this should be game all over. Cruz gets some shots and Kronos there for the cleanup. So 25 to 10, a swift, decisive victory for Ridden, our French team. Uh, and yeah, it's a nice plays all around from both Cruz and Kronos. Kronos, as we already mentioned, placed top three in our first tournament as well, first Spring Series last weekend. And despite having a new teammate, Cruz, they seem to be on the same wavelength. They seem to be playing really, really well. Tommy, talk to me about those stats. Yeah, I mean, Cruz, he has the highlight stats right there. 15 kills, 9 assists, 3 deaths. Interesting to see that Anditons has 0 assists, so... That's kind of kind of weird situation. <laughs> uh, maybe him and uh, I mean maybe Tony and Hirsten now weren't on the same page. Maybe that's why they have such a low amount of assists. If you're constantly doing your own thing on the map, you're not looking at the same angles. You're not uh, pushing into a certain position together. It can happen. But yeah, besides Cruz, I mean pretty normal stuff. Red team won by a big margin, so they have the better stats. Uh, Nothing too crazy. Here's to now having a rough game. Two kills, 14 deaths. Yep, and just for confirmation here, that was rig game one, despite our little map uh, there. So 25 to 10 for the side of Ridden. Yeah, nine, just to jump on his assists again, Tommy, 19 for the side of Ridden as well. So 19 of their 25 kills assisted. I think what was happening uh, from what I was seeing was here's to now was a first player to fall. A lot in those two, there's two engagements uh, because Cruz and Kronos were hard, like maybe targeting him. Maybe he was the first person to push, trying to make those breaks. And a lot of Andy Tonza's kills came from the back of here's to now doing damage in that initial two versus two and he might get betrayed and then Anditonza gets taken down as so that's what I saw quite a lot of time so here's to now and mm -hmm. Anditonza as you said no, definitely not on the right page uh, for sure and you can see that just in the stats just in the gameplay as well a lot of times when a team is so um, quick and, and puts a lot of pressure onto you like Cruz and Kronos it sort of spirals out of control and you're spawning at, at the other side of the map here's to now might have been in a situation where he's got two uh, two players shooting him down before Andy Tonza can even come on board and help him yeah. out. And by that time, he's probably already taken out. And then Andy Tonza comes in, gets a trade, and gets taken out by the, the second player on that red team. So if you're now Andy Tonza in here to now, you've just came off the back of a 25 to 10 uh, defeat as well. So pretty convincingly, what do you want them to? What do you want to see in the start of this game? And then going on forwards into this game, what can they do to change that tie, change things around? Oh, they have a. Sniper rifle and overshield on Plaza, so everything is possible in theory anyway. Uh, the French seem too strong. I mean, I'm not surprised by that result. The French are really experienced in twos. They play a lot of them together in their weird French lobbies. <laughs> There's just like 16 French players and they just randomly go. Some play 2v2, some play 1v1, some play snipers. Like they do whatever they want. It's just a funny little community. But they're well versed in every game type. That's why we see them. Uh, you said earlier that last week there was a lot of French players signed up. This week is the same. A lot of French players, a lot of British players. They're the highlights in that regard. But yeah, Plaza. I mean, if you can get the sniper control and you use those four bullets efficiently, you can make a lot of happen. Your teammate needs to be uh, synced with you. You need to communicate with him very tightly. Where are you watching with the sniper rifle? Uh, when you need maybe need your teammate to move closer to you to help you out or maybe you need them him to flush some players out maybe even bait some kills for you uh, communication is key getting sniper control is huge overshield eh, we saw last series Musta nullifying overshield with a single sticky nade so that's not the biggest thing sniper rifle is and uh, good communication yeah, perfectly put there, Tommy, as well. And for me, just having this French turn out, having our Halo creation on the Bravo stream as well, so massive shout out to that community. Playing the 2v2 uh, practices and custom games clearly has shown, um, shown uh, good work, because in last tournament as well, we had two French teams placing the top three as well. We jumped on board when this Plaza game, Cruz is getting some sticky grenades, and he does get the cleanup onto Undy Tonza. So that is OS burned at the start of this game. Sniper's still on the map, and Cruz is already pushing towards the last remaining player on this late bloomer squad. But it seems like there's a bit of a slow play on the map there for a second. And Undy Tonza does, it clean, uh, does clean up Kronos, and here to now takes down Cruz. So it's a two to one lead. But let's jump on board with Undy Tonza, who has that fresh knife rifle. Yeah, he's gonna have Cruz pushing him very quickly. Actually, Cruz didn't see him right there, so here's to now, and uh, Anditons have a chance to isolate Kronos if they act fast, but they're in an inferior position, and maybe they'll get uh, collapsed in the other side. 
Uh, I need to also be the nice nose pop on Chronos at all that open up the map they can now try to chase down Cruz and kill him pretty quickly. Cruz with some nice light rifle shots but he gets cleaned up by Hairston now and Anditonsa still has one bullet and the sniper rifle left. Uh, they'll be looking to spawn the enemies in blue, Chronos is already there, Cruz punches now so they have the enemies where they want them, now it's all up to the execution of Anditonsa and Hairston now if, if they can uh, pull off the situation. Yeah, slow playing from both teams, but it looks like the yard push is coming in from Kronos and Cruz. Only Tons has got to back away trying to get here to now back on board, but it doesn't matter here to now. Nowhere to be seen. Only Tons are taken down by a grenade, and here's to now, and I'm left alone. He does find a player on the red roster. Can he take him out before his teammate comes in? So nice kill from here to now. But the other red team player, Kronos, is searching and hunting and does get the cleanup. So trades across the board. It's 4-4 four, four in this game. Nice kill there from Anditons. A good perfect. And we'll jump on board with him now as he picks up that light rifle. Trying to regroup with his teammate as well. They need to try and get some map control again. They've got the light rifle, but they're back pinned in that yard spot. And again, despite what's happened, Kronos and Cruz have the map control here, Tommy. And a West is coming up in about 10 seconds time or so. The light rifle seems to be the only thing which can stop um, uh, Undy Tonza, uh, uh, well, stop the red team from getting this next OS. But the push is coming in, it's the only time they need to make it now. Here's now trying to isolate the player, Kronos, and this is a cleanup. So it's one versus one now, left alone with this OS on the board, on the map right now. Undy Tonza and Cruz in a one versus one. And it does be Cruz to get a win on that, so he should get this OS once he gets a shield back. Here's now trying to keep the, his team alive, but this OS should go on the side of the red team, Tommy. Yeah, Cruz has the overseas right now. Let's hop on board with him if he can. Uh, Cruz looking to clean up this kill on Andy Tonsa, the new sniper rifle coming up right now, so Hirsten now has actually a chance to maybe take that sniper rifle and waste the ammo at least, but Cruz is right there, so it's too late right now, they're pressed two down. Cruz with the full sniper rifle, always is gone, Chronoso is gonna push up and Cruz is gonna try to line up some shots. Yeah, Cruz with that sniper off reason. He's hunting again for the blue team players for late late blooms. He should clean up this kill with his teammate here. That's Andy Tonza down here, so now left alone once again on this map. And a sniper off on the cruiser side, and he, just because he's not using it, even though he's not using it. Oh, look at this though, Tommy. I've got my words here. He gets a nice sniper on his to now spotting him hiding in that top spot on yard. What I was about to say though is just even though Cruz wasn't using the sniper rifle, having that presence on the map, knowing that one of his players on Ridden has a sniper rifle, is a worrying sign for late bloomers. It means they can't make those pushes across the map. They can't make the top middle pushes they might want to do normally because that sniper rifle is going to take some heads. He does get his now down to one shot and he rightly turns around to Andy Tonza to two one shots and a nice no scope from Cruz. He's heating up that sniper rifle. No more bullets left, but his teammates there for the backup. Great play from Cruz and that is uh, elevate their lead to four kills there Tommy. Yeah not a nice shot from that was a beautiful little shot. Tony has a 1v1 with Kronos there. Uh, looks like actually both players once that Tony takes the win. Uh, Cruz they don't know where Cruz is so he might be looking to slow play the situation. He hears someone go top gold though so now now both two players know where he is. Here's to now LR Tony top gold they're gonna find V Cruz bottom mid. Yeah, so nice kill there, making it a two kill lead here. So Late Bloom has definitely shown some life in this game, which is nice to see. Maybe they heated up after that first series. They're still down by two kills though, but OS is the next thing in importance on this map. Only Tons is trying to set up for it, but he is down to no shields. But it looks like here, so now with that light rifle backing him up, makes that player one shot Kronos. He's backed away. OS is now up, and Only Tons should get this one clean. He's a nade come across. But he does get the clean OS. It's fresh, it's not been wasted so far. And both of the players are pinned into yard. So I'd like to see Only Tons make a push with his teammate. Now his teammate knows of his players in yard and try and get some kills here. The only thing is. Those players in yard have got a lot of places to hide, Tommy. They could try and play this slowly, get a backpack, get some shots down before Andy Tons can spot them. Yeah, uh, that's why Andy Tons didn't just push them out outright. He was maybe expecting a sneaky flank from one of them. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I mean, the red players are out of there. Overshield is almost gone. No kills yet. So this is some a moment where Andy Tons needs to get a kill or two very fast. They find a cruise together. New sniper rifle. But do they know that Chronosphere is still alive in yard? Um, it doesn't matter, they get the snipe control. Here's to now has fresh four bullets and spawning in blue. Here's to now hits one headshot. The other player is trying to stay alive. Uh, I'd like to see maybe Andy Tonsa here oh! now pushing in, but here's to now hits a second shot. That's oh! unfortunate. I'm not sure if he had it on the stream right now, but nice shots from here's to now. Andy Tonsa also finds Chronoser again. They're taking the lead 14 to 12. I mean, can they really take this map, Joe, or will their luck run out at some point? 
I feel like here's now I don't want to play him really, really well, Tommy, but it's all of a back of having a Western sniper. Have a nice shot again from here to now. I think that's three shots, three kills off stream. Though we have to describe it for the viewers at home. A no scope from here to now across that little. Um, uh, markets to snipe nest um, spots. A nice place for here to now. He's going to get a cleanup onto Kronos, and they are heating up. So These boys are heating up. These boys are definitely heating up here. The, the Finnish uh, on the tons of it as well. The Scandies on late bloomers. Some nice snipes off the back of it. And I was, what I was saying was the sniper from here to now and the OS was what was keeping them in this game. But here to now and only tons are heating up regardless of that snipe using it. Where both their pistols are pushing these players on the red team. And it's really, really nice plays. But again, the OS is going to come up again. And if we see a French team grab this OS, grab it cleanly as well. This game could go back reverse and it could see the French team push that advantage and get some more kills. OS is on the map though, Tommy, and the French team are trying to get towards it. Ridden look to, to get the advantage. The early shots come in, but here's now gets taken out, but OS has been cleaned up. So we need to see both players on this late, late bloomer squad try and rinse as much OS as they can as we jump on board with Kronos, and it looks like only Tron has got his tail between his legs and he's trying to back away. He should be cleaned up here, but it is still a four kill lead. So still on the side of late bloomers, they have the lead, but we don't have a sniper, we don't have OS anymore. Can they do it with just pistols? Yeah, Orange really is completely gone. He's actually down right now. Uh, Cruz in a one-on-one -on -one with Tony. Tony backs down. Cruz is gonna go for the offensive, I believe. He's, he's a confident man. Uh, Tony with some nice shots, so Tony should be able to clean up this kill. Um, now, here's to now in yard. Tony in LR. Do they know where Kronos is though? Now they find him. Here's to now has angle. Honey Tons comes in. Clean up duty. Easy kill. Up by six kills, only four kills left. Sniper rifle. I'd like to see Andy Tonson here to now push the nest side aggressively before uh, Kronos spawns and can help his teammate. Well, Kronos has spawned in that bottom sniper. He might be trying to play it slowly, and we don't know where the players on the red team are, and they do get taken down. So nice come on, Tonza. What I saw a second ago was when Cruz was taken down in that engagement, um, Tommy was hitting the ground, punching. He was really frustrated, it looked like, from our screens. He knew he was going to get cleaned up, so yeah. he didn't even try and fight. He was just like, wow. I'm, I'm not having fun in this one, but Kronos now with a sniper into yard. He's trying to find only Tons. Only Tons does engage him. He does get the first shots, but does get a clean. It's a nice kill. It should be traded out here from Cruz. That sniper rifle's fallen down, but maybe communication with the team does just come in now. Cruz picks up a sniper rifle, but here's now hunting him down. Can he get a nose go onto him? No, he can't. So here's now again. Could get that sniper rifle. And he heats up last time. I like to jump on board with him. And he tries to push Kronos, realizing he don't want to grab that sniper rifle yet. Get the light rifle first, get some shots down on these French players, and then pick it up whilst they back away. So we get a clean in a nice sniper game from here. So now he's heating up still, Tommy. In fact, he's heated up already. He's hitting those shots. That's four snipes we've seen him take down in this game. He's just trying to find the last play. Can he get the no scope? Oh, he gets to get it down to one shot and he gets oh. cleaned up. What a play from here. So now, what a game he's had. And we got, apart from that no scope, we got most of those snipes on stream as well. Quality plays from late bloomers. They tie up our series here, Tommy. One to one. What a game here. So now has. And let's see those stats. Yeah, that was a lot of sniper rifle kills by both teams. Uh, two from red side and five sniper rifle kills from the blue boys. I mean, massive damage from here to now. 2.6 thousand damage, 14 kills, five assists, nine deaths. Uh, nice stuff from his teammates as well, Tony. Uh, nothing too crazy. Chronoser maybe having a bit of a weak game right there. Mm, I don't know. I'm happy to see a uh, game three. I did not expect uh, Tony and here's the now to pull that off like in that fashion anyway. I mean, those were some really clutch sniper shots. Uh, I'm not sure if it's possible, but if we can get a replay of any of those shots, it would be crazy. If not, all good. Yeah, I'd love to see a replay of those shots. Unfortunately, we didn't get that no scope on the stream, but some crisp, crisp plays from here to now. And he finishes off with a no scope to one shot and then a clean up headshot. I mean, he must be on fire now as well. <laughs> But Tommy, we're going to go into truth now. So there's no OS, there's no sniper rifle. We've got the camera in play, but it's going to be a lot more of a pistol fight now on the side of this uh, this game. So there's not many flashy plays from here. So now they might have been heating up, and we did see some frustration from Cruz in that game, as I highlighted as well, punching the floor when he got taken down to one shot from Mundy Tonza as well. So maybe the ridden side aren't um, aren't on their aren't on the right headset or right, aren't on the right mind frame going on into this one. And the late bloomers definitely have the advantage and momentum side of things but it's now a fresh map and i think it's all going to come down to the start of this game if ridden starts strong then they're just going to carry on and push through this series quite comfortably but if late bloomers start with a hot hand as well like they had at the end of that series i can see late bloomers pushing this quite far in this game but now we're back to pistols tommy and we know how good Cruz and chronos are how what do you want to see from here to now
Tao and, and Undi Tonza to try and keep the momentum and to keep that scoreline on their side? Uh, just tight teamwork from them. I mean, they definitely were having good teamwork on the plaza, but some situations, their timing was way off. One of them pushed too early, one of them was too late. I mean, Undi Tonza slow playing one of the overshields way too much. So we need to see them on the same page at all times. They need to be on top of these power-ups, but they also need to be on top of their timing overall. When they're making a pinch, making a push, they need to do it at the exact same time. They can't be making any more mistakes or Kronoser and uh, Cruz are going to take this series. Yeah, and what a, what a treat we have for you guys now. Tommy's back on the stream when we thought he was going to leave. And also, we're in a game three. Cruz now makes it quite an interesting push, but it seems to work out as Kronos grabs that camera. If we can jump on board, oh, Kronos did get taken down, so let's stick uh, stick here with Cruz if we can. He sort of pushed down bottom middle, tried to get into the enemy's base as quick as possible. So it's a one for one trade. Camo's off the map, so no team with the advantage here so far. Both teams playing, giving each other well enough respect. No one's trying to push towards top middle, trying to get some crazy pushes. And Cruz again is punching walls. He's trying to take it out on the map, Cruz. There's players in this game, try and kill them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too sure what that is about. Maybe he's just uh, a little bit too frustrated. Maybe he didn't like the result of that last map. Maybe he thought that was an easy 2 over for them, but the uh, uh, Bloomer side just turned up high. Uh, here's to now takes down Chronoser, but he's weak. He's gonna get collapsed. He's gonna get cleaned up, maybe. Or he's milking his life very well. Aditon comes in for the flank and saves the day, actually. So, good stuff from the Bloomers. Uh, Right now, Andy Tons are taking a P2 control, but his teammate again pushes too early. I was talking about the timing. You have to wait for your teammate, you have to communicate when you're making that push, and when Andy Tons is not ready yet, you can't be doing the push solo. Yeah, for sure, and I think Cruz did the same on the other side as well, Tommy. He seemed to push top middle whilst his teammate was still in the opposing base and gets cleaned up, so that means Kronos has left alone in P2, and here's now takes him out. I'd want to see this ridden squad slow it down a bit. I think they're trying to make the aggressive play, maybe both of them frustrated, especially Cruz, with the result of that last game. And I'd like to see them slow it down a bit, try and regroup as a team, not make all these aggressive pushes, respect your teammates, and I think that's what they're doing right now here. Kronos has left sort of isolates them in blue base and only times and, and, and here's an hour together and you see I want to see Kronos push up realize that these players get the communication from from Cruz and realize these players aren't in P2 or whatever and help out her teammate here Cruz needs to be left alone in one versus one with here's now and again here's now stay overstayed as well can Cruz get him at crucial one-on-one -on -one kill and now only times are left in a two versus one he should be cleaned up in a second but can he get betrayed I think he's left it too long here for the trade Cruz still around but look at this here's now it's back again for the help as well so again Cruz and and Cruz being isolated twice in a row. Kronos never decided to come, come across. Maybe he's waiting for that camo. That camo he has it, he is has. grabbed by, by Kronos, but he's isolated now. Here's now needs to get this kill. Clean it up. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Just about. That's a clutch kill from here to now. Keeps him in the game at 7 6. And camo is off the map now, Tommy. We can jump aboard with Cruz as he's got the P, P control there. Yeah, both uh, red players in P side. Uh, here's to now in the bubble. Tony in the red base. Tony and Kronos are doing a fight right now. Uh, Here's to now coming in with the nades, but he doesn't connect with the nades. Nice shots though. Kronos are now in bottom base, so Cruz has to soon push the red base and help him or he's gonna go down. Yeah, I think Kronos is making just a, an individual play again. Seems like the French team ridden aren't really on the same uh, wavelength. They do get a trade here and it is gonna be a one-on-one -on -one Cruz versus here's to now. Oh, he's gonna win this Joke! Here's to now! Here's to now! He's gonna win it, Toy! And here's to now! He's playing out of his mind in this series! Some clutch plays in that last game and some clutch one versus one there. And if Cruz isn't already tilted, he's gonna be tilted now. Yeah, that was a huge joke from Cruz. I mean... This is the moment we have to see the next few gunfights. It's going to be really important who takes the bigger lead, or maybe Kronoser and uh, Cruz can tie it up. Right now, Tony P2, his teammate pushing into blue base. Kronoser one shot. Uh, Tony gets the angle, he gets the kill. Cruz uh, cleans up here to now, so it'll be another standstill, one versus one situation. Uh, next camouflage, though, in about 20, 25, 30 seconds. So I'd like to see Andy Tonsa keep this P2 control. But there's a guy topping now. I'm not sure if he knows. He's trying to keep Kronos still weak. Uh, Cruz is coming for the flank though from P3. So that's a bit, definitely a bit of a misplay. Here's to now is left alone. Cruz with some nice shots. Uh, his teammate is coming again and it's, he's gonna kill him. And that should be camouflage spawning soon. Yeah, let's jump on board with Kronos here as he's uh, down in the camouflage. Just waiting for it. He's got the time as well. It's 10-10 and he gets a clean camo. And also Undy Tons and Hissen out 
are separated, but Cruz seems to be making just a push by himself. He does, doesn't get the kill as well, so Andy Tonza play, makes a 1v1 win against Cruz as well to keep his team in at 11-11. And we need to get a montage for his now just based on this series alone, because he's made some absolutely beautiful plays this series. But Kronos still with Camo. This is going to be a huge play. He does get that cleanup onto Andy Tonza as well. So Camo's still on board. He's got about half it left as well, Tommy, and he's forced here to now to back away to the bubble. This should be a cleanup eventually. Yep, that's Cruz coming in on, on board. And now the first camo on the side uh, utilized while is going to be on this red team ridden. And look, you can already see the blue team are playing scared. They're playing their lives as well as possible. Their camo has been utilized so, so well from Kronos. And another cleanup as well. So it's a free kill game. A second ago, Tommy, it was two kills on the side of our late bloomers. But now, just off the back of that camo, Kronos has made some huge plays and is elevated this series on the, in the favor of the red team. Yeah, I mean, late bloomers need to stop this bleeding right now. I mean, they're just going down one by one. Uh, I'm not sure why they played kind of counter-aggressive when the enemy team had the camouflage. When Kronoso had the camouflage, you saw, like, here's to now challenging the other player, maybe the camo player. Same from Andy Tonsa. So maybe they need to learn to slow play those situations a bit more. They're both now in stuck in blue base and actually Chronoso and his teammate are both in B side so I'd like to see maybe one of the boys in blue to go car side. Yeah, for sure. I think they're getting shots rained down on them right now, Tommy. As here's now as one shot, he re-peaks. And that's going to be cleaned up. And again, Undy Tons is left in a, such a dire situation. He's going to try and make the most of it, but he should be cleaned up here from Kronos. Can he get the oh, kill, though? Oh, oh, oh. What a nice kill from Undy Tonza! Some huge 1v1 plays. But is it enough, Tommy? Because now it's a four-kill lead for Ridden. And I feel that Ridden are playing quite individually this game. It might be that their comms aren't as, as crisp as possible. A lot of 1v1s come in. Cruz with that beat down as well. We saw a Salt do that last time, but this time it's a five kill cushion for the side of Ridden as well. The Bloomers seem to have um, won some nice 1v1s with the team play from Cruz and Kronos hasn't been there, but yet, but despite that, that camera was such a crucial part in the game. We might have seen some nice individual plays from Andy Tons and here's to now, Tommy. But that camo and off the back Kronos of that, it is a four kill lead. And does and Kronos got the next camo here as well? Yeah. So, yep, yeah, again. Fast three cameras in a row for Kronos as well, and that's been the difference in this game. He's got about half his camo left, and both the blue team players are backed away. I like what Kronos is doing here. He's not shooting until he has to. He should get the clear up onto Undy Tons, but Undy Tons have made it difficult for him. Undy Tons in here, so now, with rock respect for their 1v1 players, they are giving these uh, uh, these two French players some nice 1v1 engagements. But Kronos, off the back of his camo, just all it does, even if he doesn't, even if he's not shooting at anybody, it means that the blue team can't make any reckless pushes. They can't push anywhere re knowing without knowing where the camo player is and they're backed into this bubble now they're in a tight situation but here's now does get the kill to cruise so Kronos has to play his life and Undy Tonza and here's now hunting for him in this bottom of this blue base yeah Kronos is going to get taken out here Undy Tonza keeps hitting some good shots I mean something else to point out is Undy Tonza is staying alive very well in some situations he, he's like milking everything he can pretty much he's staying alive as long as he can allowing his teammate to actually make some of those flashy plays Here's to now with a nice sticky. Uh, right now it's only a two kill game. Cruz needs to slow play this one. He does not want to go down again. That would only be worse for the situation. Next camouflage still about 30 to 40 seconds away. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see this fight happen, but if not, maybe some of the players rotate around the map for that camouflage. Cruz is just holding forward. Chronosaur is shooting at the players. The issue here is Anditons and here's to now just stay too close to each other at some times. They're both stuck in that same base just like they did before and now they're getting collapsed from both sides. They keep getting into these situations where they're literally holding hands and if you stay there too long your opponents can adjust and go different routes and make a pinch happen. So there will be another camo for Kronosa. That's so many in a row, I don't even know how many it is. So let's That's jump on board with Kronosa and see if he can finish this game with his teammates with his fresh new camo. That's four camos in a row from Kronos. Definitely a difference in this game, and I have to back up what you're saying to do with his now Andy Tonza. Twos is definitely a buddy system game, but when you're holding hands, you just open up to the other players having all the map control because you're just isolated in one spot. It's a nice kill on for Camo from Andy Tonza. If there's anything which is going to keep them in this game, it is that kill. It's a great time to get it as well. So Camo's off a map, but it's still a free kill lead. Cruz playing his life while he's deciding, you know what, I'm not going to push anywhere. I'm going to wait for my teammate to back, up, back me up in these fights. And 
It's, for the first time, they might have listened to us. Here's to now, and any times <laughs> on, on the opposite yeah. side of the maps, Tommy. So they might be trying to make some sort of thing go, and it might be desperation at this point, as the time has to come into it as well. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Still a lot of time to play with, but if we get to the point where these teams are going to slow play, and maybe one team's going to stay in the base, then it might come into play. The time might tick, and it's always Moon Cruises and Kronos' favourite moment. Cruz is starting to back away, rightfully so. It's here to now, and Undytons are trying to hunt him down. It's still a two-kill lead, and Cruz is doing really well to play his life. Kronos has been taken out a couple of times in a row, but the whole time, Cruz has yeah. stayed on this car side. But you can see the hand-holding there, Tony, and here to now, both, both pushing towards that P side of the map. They are doing all they can to try and keep themselves in this game, but it needs to be another round of slays, Tommy, on the side of them to get them back uh, at, at tide here. Yeah, I mean now they're again in blue base. I mean you you don't want to make the, the push from blue to card happen. So I want to see one of them go back to B two. And actually Tony is doing that right now. Uh, next camo. I mean there will be one more camo in this game. And look at this score line though. Chronos with four camo flashes. They're only up by two kills. If uh, bloomers get this next camo flash, they might very well take this game. Yeah, for sure, Tommy. But look at the uh, look at the time as well. We've just had about a minute and twenty seconds with no kill come in we're down to our last minute 40 and it looks like both teams are trying to play that camo those nades come hotly in and here to now just get a clean on to Cruz so Kronos is left alone at a crucial point he knows the time of camo though and the blue team don't have a clue so they're going to be waiting a while they do it. pick it up though only Tonza look at that with the camo so one kill game is going to be on his hands this play could define this series he decided not to shoot Kronos yet uh, here to now just get some shots into him, but still he hasn't fired his gun. I do like this play, but he does have to shoot eventually. Does he have a nade on his back? He does. Can he get the clean by the Kronos? He can! So it's 21-21 camo still. About half that camo left, and Cruz is left alone playing his life in red base. Here's now, and only times to probably know where he is as well. His teammate does spawn up, and it looks like the map control camo all on the side of his now, and Undy Tonza. The bloomers have it in their hands, Tommy. Do we see them make a push here? They have to make a push. I mean, that Camo is running out really quickly. They got the kill, but it was a bit too slow to my liking. Camo is out now, so it will be fair to be two gunfights with 40 seconds left. So I hope for overtime. I hope for overtime right now. Uh, 2v2 fight on car side. Nothing really happening. Both teams playing it really carefully. And it comes to taking the roll route. He's going to get caught here. He's so weak that he gets away. It's important to his teammate to now pressure the player so they don't push him freely. So now, Bloomer's car side, uh, here's to now actually out of ammo right now, but he finds a tactical magnum on car 2, so they're back back in the game, so nothing <laughs> to worry about there yet. Uh, still, this fight happening, Bloomer's car side, uh, red team in blue base, Kronos are with some nice shots, Tony is really weak, he needs to play this carefully, do not peek too early, have your teammate covered that angle as well. Uh, Cruz is making a play as well, Tony turns away. Here's the nice third recovery, but the red pinch is gonna happen. No, they're still all staying alive. Trust happening to car. Oh, Kronoser goes down. Nice shots from here to now. Cruz really needs to stay alive now. Just hide for your, all your life. You can't go down right now. Tommy, we've got the overtime you wanted for, and Cruz is in spotted as well. Kronos making the right play to try and flank the blue team, but that playing so close together just meant that they just both 180 turn, knowing that he was going to do it as well. So it was a nice play from late bloomers. Our overtime is still heating up as well, as all players of this car side, two deaths is all it is. For this red team, and they've lost this game, they need to get two rounds of slays. Full team slays here. Cruz starts it off by killing here. So now only times are left alone. He's going to get naded out. He's just got to try and play for a pick. He's got the sticky grenades loaded up. Can he get the stick? He's deciding to get some shots down. Gets a beat, meaty nice. traces, 24-23, overtime ticking, two minutes left. I don't think we're going to get it all the way now, but here's to now, left alone, where's his teammate going to spawn? But it doesn't matter, that camo's Come coming on. up now, uh, now, and again, two camos on the side of late bloomers. They've got them late in this game. Can they bloom late in this series as well? All they need is one kill. We're going to be on board with here's to now till that camo runs out, most likely. Cruz and Kronos, nobody's got camo. They have to play so close to each other and just try and rotate and out-rotate this squad or try and catch him off guard. Undy Tonson is relaying information, but they're both in red base and he's deciding to push. But rightly so, both these players, both these teams are going to play it as slow as possible. No one wants to be picked up first, especially for the side of Ridding, because that first death means you're going to lose the series. But Kronos is going to be taken out by his to now, Tommy. Our late bloomers squad have done it. They've reverse swept this Ridden squad and they started off 25 to 10 losses in that first game. But off the back of his to now snipes and those last two camo plays and an overtime, they've taken all the all of Halo can offer, and they've won our series two to one, Tommy. Yeah, 
massive damage from Kronos are about 3.4 thousand highest in the game by easy margin. So he had the least kills in the game, but the highest damage. That makes me wonder if if uh, they had some maybe some internal issues, because we saw Cruz punching the ground. Maybe he was upset about something that happened. I mean, I know that Cruz is still a bit younger than most of these players in this lobby. Maybe he gets tilted sometimes more easily. I don't know what it is. Huge stuff from Andy Thompson here to now taking that series two to one. I mean, I had maybe Kronos and Cruz winning the series from the get go, but I mean, those guys just proved me wrong big time. Kronos plays top three in our first 2v2 as well, and late bloomers got rounded. And despite that, they played so, so well. We went to an overtime, Tommy. It was 21 21. That, it was about two minutes without a kill as well, or two minutes yeah. with trading out kills. And the last of that game, it was so, so close. I saw Undy Tonza go down to one shot about three times in that last 40 seconds, and somehow he stayed alive. And despite his to now and Undy Tonza holding the car door, they somehow managed to get the two kills. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't make sense, Tommy. It doesn't make no, sense. Doesn't. But do you know what, Tommy? Do you know what does make sense? Is that, Tommy, we have, we've, we've casted, we had that Bravo stream, and we have gone the whole way now as a caster. We thought we weren't going to cast this last series, and it makes perfect sense that it goes all the way down to game three, two and overtime, and a clutch, clutch play is coming in. That camo grab from here to now, right at the end. Ending that series as well. Late bloomers progress to the semi-finals. Cruz and Kronos have another chance through the losers bracket. Hopefully yeah. they can regain some of that tempo. We would like to see this team again later on, and especially the caliber of players they've got on their squad. And Tommy, give it to me now. T uh, give anything about that series. Just tell me what happened. I'm just mind blown still. I'm so happy I got to witness the series and cast it. I mean, that was that was probably the best series uh, I've I've casted so far. I mean, definitely a nail biter. Uh, also, have to send some love for the Scandinavian boys. I mean, Andy Tonsa, fellow Finnish fighter, and uh, here's to now a Swedish talent all around. So, Scandinavian players. I mean, you have my support whenever you're on stream. Maybe this time I wasn't believing in you from the get go, but oh boy, did you prove me wrong. So. Excellent stuff from Andy Tonsa here to now. Like you said, they'll uh, move to uh, winner semifinals now. We could actually, if you can, we could check the bracket to see who they'll be playing next. But I mean, that was a stellar performance sketch. Yeah, I mean, it seemed that they were playing the perfectly is what they needed to do as well. We saw the snipes coming out from here to now. We saw some clutch 1v1s from Andy Tonza. Some plays where both of them were stuck in one area of the map. I saw them P-door and Cardor about three or four times in that, in that series. And still, they still managed to come out on top in those gunfights. Maybe what I'd say from Cruz and Kronos, especially towards the mid of that game, they decided to make a lot of individual pushes. Maybe thinking yeah. their teammate's going to back them up. They got caught out before the teammate could get there. That team shot from here to now on Andy Tonza was vital in that series. But Tommy, we've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. It's been thank you so much for casting with me. What a surprise that we get to cast another series. But that is going to be our time up for our duo ship. Tommy, do you have anything to say to anybody watching out there uh, like we've done before it's, it seems to be a repeat of what we've done before but yeah do you have anything to say to anybody uh, watching i mean something i missed i mean i love to see the overtime there the first overtime maybe on stream this season on the europa halo and uh, egl 2v2 spring series so nice to see an overtime in a 2v2 it's always a nail biter other than that it's been fun nice cast, uh, casting with you joe always a pleasure uh, I think our duo works pretty well, so I'm happy with the performance. Uh, nothing but best to you. You're going to keep on casting for a while longer, and I'll uh, switch from a caster to a viewer. So oh, it's I been guess fantastic, this is Tommy. the goodbye. It's been fantastic, Tommy. And we are going to jump to a quick break now, but thank you so, so much. I can't say it enough that your analytical side of things has been quality. And for us to cast an overtime as well, especially the first one for this Spring TV2 series, what a way to end the stream uh, for our cast and duo ship. Um, I'll be back after break, joined with another North American caster, a new caster for the channel uh, for tools. And we're going to jump on board uh, to show the Bravo stream now whilst we go for a quick, quick break. So I'll see you in a bit.